Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy, and today we're on location in sunny Florida, and we're bringing you a comparison test for monitors. And we're really been anxious to want to get this out to you. So what we want to do is we want to show you in high bright sunlight, we want to show you the differences of what the monitors look like at the highest point of sun. So we want to see how readable they actually are. Um, so we have three different models here. The first model is the new Crystal Sky Monitor, the Ultra Bright series. Then it's exactly the same size, but it's the High Bright series, which is not quite as bright. Then we have an iPad Mini here, and it's going to be very similar to any Android tablet that you're going to have. And that's what the majority of you are going to want to be able to start out with. So we want to show you the differences between these three models. Now, you may wonder why we had two different drones here. So we can't bind three radios at this point to one aircraft. So what we did was we have two identical aircraft, identical, identical equipment, and they're set up and exposed exactly the same. Same thing with the monitors. For consistency sake of everything, for testing purposes, we have all the monitors, the, 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 the settings the same, the brightness is turned up all the same, and everything's pretty consistent. So we're gonna show you now what the monitors look like. So here's comparing all three monitors all in the same frame. What you have on the left hand side is the ultra bright, the one in the middle is the high bright, and the one on the right obviously is the iPad mini. Now here's a comparison with just the two different Crystal Sky monitors. Again, the one on the left is the ultra bright, and the one on the right is the high bright. If you look at where it says ready to fly in green on the upper left hand corner of the screen, you can definitely see that the ultra bright on the left is definitely brighter than the right side. Here is the iPad mini by itself. Again, all you're seeing is reflections coming off of the screen. You can't really see anything without a visor. And again, this is strong sunlight, but that's just again to show you how the Crystal Sky monitors are really needed in sunny weather. To give you a different comparison perspective, here's the three monitors indoors under studio lighting. And for those that are considering the smaller 5.5 inch display, here's how that size compares to the larger 7.85 inch monitors. So that's the test. I hope this has been informative. As you can see, without a doubt, the Crystal Sky monitors are definitely much brighter in the sun. And really, it's a necessity when you're trying to do work in the sun like this. Um, all my years of doing aerial work, I would never rely on that iPad mini. What I would do is I would have a two uh, monitor set up where I would have an iPad mini on the left hand side and a high bright HDMI monitor on the right which would cause that to be much more heavier, convoluted, harder to be able to get set up and use in the field. Whereas this is one monitor, it's definitely lighter, much more simpler, and I really love this. So if you guys are doing a lot of serious work, give it a lot of consideration because it really can help you do your job a lot easier. So thanks again, you have any questions? Give me a call, thanks. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.